Mediterranean city. Along the south coast of the Wild Blue, 600 kilometers east of Algiers, Annaba la Coquette is nestled in the hollow of a splendid bay. Annaba is the main city of the Wilaya that overlooks the Mediterranean Sea with 80 kilometers of coastline. The Bay of Annaba offers a wonderful view thanks to its location at the foothills of the mountains of Edur, which overlooks the city. The soft light of sunset and sunrise adds an ochre to the magnificence of the picture painted by Mother Nature. of a perfect harmony where lush green melts with ancient and modern human work and deep blue sea. Mediterranean climate is humid in winter and hot in summer. The average annual rainfall is appreciable. It varies between 600 and 1000 mm. Sometimes, in winter of the heights of Edur, the snow covers the magnificent forest of Seraidi to the delight of tourists. Thank you. 
Seraidi Station and its altitude offers to the visitor pure air, relaxation and pleasant stay. This is the case here in this hotel equipped with all amenities. The icing on the cake is the magnificent view over the Bay of Annaba. You can access to the station by a beautiful road that snakes up to the top of the Edu. We often come across a few lazy cows belonging to local peasants quietly joining their stable. One can also access Seraidi station by a charming cable car, which takes you, in a few minutes, through all the facets of the beauty of the city of Annaba, with its urban seascape and forest landscapes. However, everybody enjoys carelessly the winter games, launching snowballs and shaping funny little snowmen. The forest heritage is diverse, consisting of species such as oak, cork, zen oak, chestnut, carob, maritime pine and eucalyptus. This environment encourages the proliferation of many animal species, birds and mammals. This wooded area is rich in water resources. Melting snow and heavy rains feed on small streams and numerous springs. These significant water resources run down to the plain and supply seaboos and other small watercourses. The hydrographic network is very important. The area is waterlogged.
The plain Cebus is named after the river that runs through the plain into the Bay of Ainaba. The hinterland of Anaba has several wetlands with many swamps and marshes that extend over tens of thousands of hectares. This flooded area is also an ideal environment for turtles, as well as frog and salamander. The plain is also home to natural channels and a lake named Fezzara. The lake covers an area of over 18,000 hectares. Fezzara Lake is on the Ramsar list of wetlands of international importance. It plays a significant role as a wintering area for migratory water birds that travel from Europe to the other side of the Mediterranean. In winter, these wetlands welcome thousands of birds, representing 30 species, including widgeon, shuvela, mallard, grey lag goose, heron, water hen, and woodcock. This beautiful lake landscape invites to complementation, particularly during the sunset. But the crown jewel of Annaba city and its surroundings is the magnificent coastline with its sandy beaches. Steep cliffs, peaceful coves and paradise islands washed by the crystal clear waters of the Mediterranean.
Annaba is part of the history since the earliest times. It is marked by the collective history of mankind. It is a crossroad and a meeting point of New Median, Phoenician, Roman, Vandal, Byzantine and Muslim civilizations. The Hippocounter was founded by the Phoenicians in the 12th century BC, four centuries before Carthage. The site's name is derived from Eubon, a Phoenician word meaning a sheltered Gulf Bay. The Numidian Ipo and its surroundings were involved in the three Punic Wars between Carthage and Rome 200 BC. Ipo was named Hippo Regis the Royal because it was the place of residence of the Numidian kings Sifax and Massinissa. After the fall of Carthage, the city fell to the Romans. Several centuries of Roman domination of the south shore of the western Mediterranean have made of Hippo an important city under the Roman Empire strategically, economically and culturally. The city participated significantly in the development of Christianity with its schisms. Ipo, with its well-known Romanian Numidian bishop, St. Augustine, reached universality. Ipo is still known as the native town of St. Augustine, the main representative of Christian theology. St. Augustine died in the siege of the city by the Vandals in 430 AD. The Vandals, who occupied Ipo for over a century, were defeated by the Byzantines in 535 AD. Then the Muslim troops from the Arabian Peninsula, headed by Hassan ibn Amman, defeated the Byzantines around the year 700 AD. It is thought that Ipo took the name of Buna since then which gave the name Bone in French. In 905, the Muslims abandoned the ancient site of Ipo that became unsafe because of the flooding and the formation of swamps where Malaya mosquitoes proliferated. Muhammad Zawi from the Zirid Sanhaja dynasty decided to build a new city on the hill of Aqbat al-Anab from which the name Annaba, the current name of the city derives. People from Annaba like to say that Annaba is built on seven hills like Rome, the eternal city. Indeed, wherever you look, you can see the remains of that ancient Ipo that reminds us that it was for centuries a prestigious Roman city. The ancient site is located in the foothill of Zarzur, nearby Sibus River. The remains witness of the importance of the city and the splendor of its urbanism. Colonnades, roads, paved to last forever, drawn in chalk, structure the city. The Forum, or Central Square, was built in 78 AD. This is the most comprehensive forum revealed by archaeologists in Roman North Africa. It was decorated with many statues, which still stand with their inscriptions. Statues honoring Roman emperors and dignitaries.
the public market is very big and is built in a nice style which suggests a huge human activity at that time. 24 columns are used to delineate the perimeter of the market courtyard. The columns were decorated by Corinthian capitals, an ornamentation of fine craftsmanship. The theatre, built against the hill of St. Augustine, presents an exceptional width of 100 meters. This is where the wealthy dignitaries of Hippo attended various shows, banquets and gladiatorial shows they financed. Roman villas richly decorated and paved with mosaics of great beauty depict scenes with stark reality. They are still used by archaeologists to reconstruct the life and history of the ancient Hippo. The site is full of treasures for scientific discovery. Splendid mosaics have stood the test of time and are still preserved in Annaba. The best part are the mosaic of hunting that witnesses of a great art in the achievement of the picture as well as the richness and accuracy of the details. The mosaic of love pickers reveals a refined style where the symbolic of the argument is melt with the finesse of the characters. The mosaic, general view of Hippo, is also a valuable historical document thanks to the information it contains. African mosaic artists are known for their know-how. The large baths Hippo are also remarkable architectural achievements in the city. An inscription allows dating them back to Roman Emperor Caracalla, who ruled in the early 3rd century. It's also during his reign that the baths were built in the eternal city Rome. The emperor known for his cruelty was nevertheless a great builder, according to the historians. The Museum of Annaba shelters valuable artifacts and works which are the result of archaeological excavations experienced by the site.
you can admire many objects including ceramics, marble statuettes, pottery ceramic pots, Numidian and Roman coins, jewelry, steels, fragments of statues, hats, epitaphs and sarcophagi. Among the most remarkable parts of the museum, head of the Roman Emperor Vespasian, the head of the Emperor Augustus, the statue of Hercules, the hero of Roman mythology, and Venus, goddess of beauty and love. An impressive and unique piece made of bronze of 2 meters 45 high is also exposed. This is the trophy of Hippo celebrating the victory of Caesar over Juba I, last king of Numidia. We cannot leave Annaba without mentioning the Basilica of St. Augustine, built on a promontory overlooking the city. It stands not far from the remains of the ancient Basilica of Peace, the Cathedral Church of St. Augustine. Its construction began in 1881 and ended in 1886. The French architect and worship man who built it has cleverly merged Eastern and Western architecture. Moorish Ark of the Maghreb Mosques fuses in harmony with the Roman and Byzantine dome roof. All materials that were used in the construction of the modern Basilica of St. Augustine are from the region stone from Shetaibi and onyx from Skigda. The spirit of Augustine is present in the cathedral. The builders of the cathedral wanted it to be dedicated to the memory and work of the great bishop. They asked Pope Gregory XVI to supply them with a relic of the saint whose tomb lies in Italy. The Pope replied to this request. The ulna of the right arm of Augustine was returned to Ippo and is conserved within the basilica. <laughs> 